Hi, Chris Atkins here, president of The Cat Company and co-founder of groupofnations.com. The COVID-19 pandemic sweeps across the globe, forcing changes in our everyday lives and our economic stability. And as hundreds of millions of workers across all forms of employment are detrimentally affected, it is important for us to recognise those who are most at risk, namely women, the elderly, unskilled workers, and those whose health coverage was attached to their previous employment. Each of these groups are now on the verge of falling back into poverty and serious debt. This week, the G20 engagement groups from the Business 20, the Labour 20 and Women's 20 released a joint statement to show their appreciation for the commitment made by the G20 leaders on March 26 to do all that they can to address the impact of COVID-19 across the board, but ask for special focus on these vulnerable groups. They outlined specific measures they hoped our G20 leaders would take into consideration, including the engagement of employers, workers and key players from civil society at all stages of their response and decision making and to include women as both decision makers and as a focus of decisions themselves. They urged the G20 to strengthen social protection for the most vulnerable groups and extend it to all forms of employment, to immediately support daily wage earners with direct cash transfers and the deferment of their credit payments, rents and other forms of liabilities. They asked the G20 to commit to guaranteeing the provisions of basic health services and urgent care, including mental and health and well-being, and to provide additional support to MSMEs to reduce unemployment as they are the largest employers and job creators. However, they are also the most susceptible to economic instability and are most likely to fail in a crisis of this magnitude. In all, the B20, L20 and W20 made eight proposals. To read the full statement, please visit us at groupofnations.com. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.